What if I told you there's an entire century erased from history? A period of 100 years that the world's most powerful government desperately tries to hide. Welcome to the fascinating mystery of the void century in one piece. Imagine a world full of pirates, sailors, and fantastic creatures. A world where the sea holds millennia-old secrets and humanity's fate about to be revealed. This is the setting of One Piece, Eiichiro Oda's masterpiece that has captivated millions of fans around the globe for decades. But behind the epic adventures and thrilling battles, there's a riddle that permeates the entire story. The Void Century, period of 100 years, between 900 and 800 years before the current events of the series, of which virtually no historical or archaeological record remains. Why is this period so important? What happened in those 100 years that was able to change the course of humanity? And why does the world government fear so much that this truth will come to light? Let's dive deep into this mystery and try to uncover the secrets of the Void Century. It all starts with a war. A war so grand and devastating that it redefined the geography of the entire planet. On one side we have the enigmatic Great Kingdom, on the other, an alliance of 20 nations that would form the world government. At the center of this conflict, legendary figure known only as Joy Boy. Joy Boy, first pirate in history, possessed unimaginable power thanks to his Akuma no Mi, Hitohito no Mi, model Nika. This fruit allowed him to become the incarnation of the sun god Nika, giving him a rubber-like body and the freedom to fight as he wished. But even this power was not enough to prevent the fall of the Great Kingdom. The Alliance of the Twenty Kingdoms resorted to the mysterious ancient weapons to defeat Joy Boy and the Great Kingdom. The price of this victory? The sea level rose 200 meters across the entire planet. Just imagine the devastating impact this must have caused. Entire continents submerged, civilizations were swallowed by the waters. The world we know today in one piece is just what remained after this catastrophe. But the story doesn't end there. World government, formed after this war, did everything to erase any trace of the void century. Why? What are they so afraid of? The answer may lie in the enigmatic poneglyphs. Poneglyphs are huge stone blocks scattered around the world containing crucial information about the Void Century. Written in an ancient language that very few people can decipher, they hold secrets so dangerous that the world government doesn't hesitate to destroy entire nations to keep them hidden. And here comes one of the most fascinating characters in One Piece, Nico Robin. Since she was a child, Robin's dream was to discover the truth about the Void Century. She is one of the few people in the world capable of reading the Poneglyphs, which has made her one of the most wanted criminals by the world government. But why such an obsession with keeping this secret? What could be so terrible as to justify the murder of hundreds of scholars and the destruction of entire civilization? The answer may lie in the ancient weapons. Pluton, a warship capable of mass destruction. Poseidon, the power to control the Sea King. And Uranus, whose nature is still a complete mystery. These weapons have the power to bring ruin to the entire world. Was it the use of these weapons that caused the devastation of the Void Century? And we can't forget about the mysterious D. Goldie Roger, Monkey D. Luffy, or Gus D. Ace. What does this initial mean? Why does the world government fear those who carry it so much? It is said that the bearers of the D are the natural enemies of God. Are they the heirs of the Great Kingdom destined to challenge the order established by the world government? As the story of One Piece unfolds, more pieces of this puzzle fit together crew of the Pirate King, Goldie Roger, reached the final island, Laugh Tale, and discovered the truth about the Void Century. What they saw was so impactful that it made them burst into laughter. But Roger arrived too early. What does this mean? And so we come to the present. Monkey D. Luffy and his crew are getting closer and closer to uncovering these mysteries. The world government trembles at the possibility of the truth coming to light. A great battle is approaching. A battle that could rewrite the history of the world of One Piece. The Void Century is much more than just a mystery to be solved. It is the beating heart of the entire narrative of One Piece. It is what connects past, present, and future. It is what gives meaning to Luffy and his companion's journey. It is what makes us question who the true heroes and villains of this story are. As we approach the end of this epic, more and more secrets come to light. The scientist Vegapunk, before his death, revealed part of what he knew about the Void Century. The mysterious Im, sitting on the previously empty throne of Marijoa, seems to be the key to many of these enigmas. One Piece teaches us that history is written by the victors, but the truth always finds a way to come to light. 
The Void Century reminds us that we must always question the official version of events, that we must seek the truth for ourselves. And so, dear friends, we come to the end of our journey through the Void Century, a mystery that has intrigued fans around the world for decades, an enigma that is about to be revealed. But one question still persists, a question that echoes through the centuries. When the truth finally comes to light, when the secrets of the Void Century are revealed, will the world be ready to face the consequences?